A golden find in outer space. A black hole means bad news for a gas cloud. Some creative ways to charge your phone, and we're bringing the bling on today's Daily Orbit. Hello and welcome to the Daily Orbit. I'm Emerald Robinson. A gamma ray burst, or GRB, created by the collision of two neutron stars observed back in June, has presented a golden opportunity for researchers. Scientists say such a cataclysmic event may explain how all the gold on Earth and in the universe formed. Unlike most heavy metals, gold cannot form inside a star. But in an event like the recent one where two dead cores of stars, neutron stars, collide, researchers estimate that the amount of gold produced is comparable to 10 moon masses. After the event, researchers observed an unusual glow that lasted for several days, potentially signifying that gold and a lot of other heavy elements were created as a result. Now, wouldn't that be a sight to see? Researchers said, quote, that's quite a lot of bling. Well, I love the bling. And from bling bling to black holes, the universe is full of all kinds. For the first time, ESO's very large telescope caught a supermassive black hole ripping apart a gas cloud. Vicious. The cloud had been steadily moving towards the black hole since 2011, but new observations show that it's currently being stretched by the hole's intense gravitational field. It's being stretched so much it's starting to look like spaghetti. I guess the black hole was filling pasta for dinner. Okay, that was bad. Anyway, it seems the cloud has somewhat survived and is now traveling past the black hole, barely having escaped falling right in. Black holes just can't get enough. And something I never have enough of is battery power. My iPhone is always dead. A recent answer to my dilemma, according to researchers, pee on it. Okay, not literally, but researchers are developing a fuel cell that uses bacteria to break down a urine to generate electricity. They were able to charge a phone by passing urine through a cascade of microbial fuel cells. Well, I guess it is pretty efficient use of waste. We keep harping on being more sustainable, so there. The electricity being produced is a byproduct of the microbes' natural life cycle. The more they eat, the more energy you get. Researchers believe this technology could one day be installed in bathrooms to power things like showers and lighting. Well, with my bladder, I'll never run out of battery power. Before we talked about pee power, I would have probably cringed at bacteria batteries in general, but now it really doesn't seem that bad. In keeping with the theme, students at a university in Germany are using the bacteria Escherichia coli to help construct a battery. The battery uses bacteria to convert glucose to energy. The students say that bacteria batteries would be a cleaner alternative to harmful household batteries. Well, it works for me as long as I can keep my iPhone powered up. Ever been called a bird brain? Well, if it helps, just say, you too. And it's true. Researchers say the wiring of a bird's brain is not so different from our own. Scientists developed the first ever map of a typical bird's brain and found that although their brains look very different from mammals, areas vital to long-term memory, problem solving, and other higher level cognitive functions are wired in a similar way. This is surprising because our evolutionary histories are so different, and obviously we differ big time in intelligence. Well, that's debatable with some humans. Bird brain. Well, that's all for the Daily Orbit. Hey, who you calling a bird brain? Nobody. It's a compliment, really. <laughs>